new update time Apex Legends. I tweeted out earlier in the week that I probably wasn't going to be making a video unless this exact thing happened. And of course, just to add more onto my busy schedule, it did. So let's just get into it. Um, so just something here from April 16th to 18th players who finished top five uh, for their first one each day will grant one full battle pass tier. So they're making it easier for you to level up, which is really good for me because I have not been playing too much and I really want to be leveling that up. So I guess it's kind of like a double XP weekend sort of thing, but you know, this instead. All right, so we got more thick boy balance changes. Is this the update that finally makes Caustic the best character? I said it last time. I'm gonna say again, yes. I actually haven't read any of this for the record. This is gonna be my live reaction to it. So let's see here. So Caustic fortified passive perk added, reduced damage taken by 10%. So that's just, constant he always has 10 percent damage reduction it seems like it's his passive um so that's kind of crazy i don't know the specifics on like if that'll save him from a specific guns like kill shot typically but i'm sure it is for certain weapons uh, gas damage per tick increased one to four thank god those traps are so garbage typically i don't like that's a big change when you think about it that's three more damage every single tick but I guess we'll also see uh, how noticeable it is because people are usually only in it for a few ticks anyway. Um, ultimate throw distance increased from 28 meters to 33 meters. Another change there doesn't seem too insane. But overall, that's that passive thing seems pretty crazy. Uh, so, damn, good for Caustic. Hopefully he's viable in the meta. And guess what? Gibraltar got the exact same thing. Damage reduce taken by 10%. Uh, so that's another fortified passive. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so I guess they're really going all in on these two here. And gun shield health increased from 50 to 75. So goddamn, Gibraltar is going to be a tank, <laughs> essentially. That's that's a lot of extra damage reduction in, I mean, gun shield health, but it's basically health as long as he's firing back, right? So good. That's I'm happy with that. Nobody typically plays them. At least not very often anyway so hopefully this makes it a bit more balanced and i'm excited to try them out all right so i'm excited for these weapon balancing here because i did take a brief look at this first one here uh, so for the g7 triple take and longbow so that's cool lower leg shot damage reduction from 25 percent to 10 percent so now when you shoot down lower it doesn't reduce as much damage as it typically did so that's good there reduce base weapon sway 33 percent. that's a lot like, that's a third of its typical sway just, like, out the window. Um, reduced base sway speed by about 25%. So that's awesome there. I thought the longbow in particular and the G7, I like using both of those weapons. I didn't really think they needed a buff, but I will take it because I enjoy using them. Um, so there's more longbow buffs here. I'm going to have so much fun in this meta. I'm going to be caustic longbow every single game. So increased fire rate 1.2 to 1.6. Increased mag size from five to six rounds. Um, common mag extender, six to eight. Rare mag extender, eight to 10. And epic mag extender, 10 to now 12. So you can have 12 rounds with an epic mag on the longbow with an increased rate of fire. So that's pretty crazy. Um, and then there's stuff for the Havoc here too. So increased base magazine size from 25 to 32. That's pretty crazy. Charge beam, reduced cost per shot, five to four. Increased close range damage 55 to 60, damage at range 45 to 50, close range damage fall off increased from 35 to 75 meters, range damage fall off increased 75 to 125 meters. So as well as some havoc buffs there, which is pretty cool because with how much energy ammo has been going around lately, having good energy weapons, I, I'm not going to complain because I'm finding so much energy ammo ever since they increased how much is around the map. All right, and then I think, I'm not going to jump to conclusions here, but I think it's time we say rest in peace to the god Wingman. Uh, so the mag size is reduced from 6 to 4. Like, goddamn. It's still going to do its damage, but with these nerfs as well as last time it got nerfed, that's a big hit. Like, you, if you're super accurate, you're still going to be able to kill people in a mag, right? Like, if you hit your four shots. But not being able to miss like a bullet unless all the shots are headshots is pretty crazy. So it's really going to reward good players. Um, well, it's not rewarding them. It's still hurting them. But 
uh, good players who manage to hit most of their shots anyway won't see too much of a difference but for the average player that's pretty crazy like you have to make every single shot count there and then they changed all the mag extenders as well down uh, 8 to 6 then 9 to 8 and then 10 to 12 I don't know why they didn't make the middle one go down 2 as well but oh well anyway some pretty big nerfs to the wingman and I'm gonna say here I don't know if this is a hot take I'm gonna say it won't be the best gun in the game anymore like I don't even know if I want a wingman after it only has four rounds in its base mag but I guess we'll have to see how it plays out um then spitfire got nerfed as well which is understandable uh base damage 20 to 18 magazine extender attachments reduced uh common 45 to 40 rare 55 to 45 and epic mag extender reduced 60 to 55 rounds um so those aren't as insane as the wingman's nerfs I would say but they're nerfs nonetheless. And then here, the adjustment to gold weapon attachments. If I'm being honest, I didn't have every gold gun's default attachments memorized, so I don't know too much about what's changing here. Um, although the gold R301, that one to two variable hollow sight seems much better than what it had before. I didn't like using the R301 because of the sight it had on it prior to. Can't remember exactly what it was, but that's pretty cool there. And then Havoc and Wingman also got a couple attachment changes. Um, and then here there's some additional changes. Jump ship speed increased the speed of the ship by about 50%. Damn. Uh, bug fixes fixed UI bug where the wrong percentage would be displayed for all boost badges. All right. Don't really know about that one. Haven't experienced it. But the speed of the ship, 50%. That's, that's pretty crazy. It's pretty fast. And then as I said earlier, Battle Pass bonus XP event. Um, like I said, so it starts... 10 a.m. PST on the 16th through 10 a.m. PST on the 18th. Um, you're going to get more XP for finishing in the top five, your first like game of the day or whatever, the first time you do that. Um, so that's pretty cool there. And yeah, guys, that's basically all the changes for patch 1.11. Uh, I'm excited. I'm glad they're doing some changes. They've been pretty slow coming out with them, but these seem to be going in a good direction, and I'm excited to play the game after... These most recent changes particularly with caustic gibraltar and the longbow um, and we'll just have to see how hard the wingman was hit by that i'm gonna say pretty damn hard um but yeah that's gonna be it for me guys subscribe if you haven't already drop a like on the video and i'll see you guys next time